guys so welcome back this is my boy get sling how you guys doing welcome to another crazy video uh first a good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching this video from well guys uh one of the things that i am sure most of you have learned is that you cannot plan corn and be expecting to invest cassava it's impossible garbage in garbage out that's exactly what you will get it's what you invest that's exactly what you will get back it's the kind of energy you give people that's exactly the kind of energy that other people will give you back and also the kind of attitude you present to people that is exactly how they're going to address you well of course you guys already know exactly what i'm talking about you saw the title of this video and uh, it's not under than portable headings as disqualified portable reasoning because he leaked himself to one million boys a very notorious robbery gang who have caused a lot of mayhem in Lagos state another part of uh and an other part of nigeria it's like me coming out and telling you i am the founder of bk boys like of course you guys know exactly what i'm talking about you know exactly what happened then concerning portable well the eddings had no choice than to disqualify him you know he once made a threat. He once made a threat when he was nominated for that Eddings Award. He made a threat that Eddings should give him that award, and if they should give that award to anybody else, that that person might die. Instigating his fans to be violent. So Eddings immediately issued a public warning to Portable and told him to disapprove that claim. Which he did, yeah, he apologized to Eddings and uh, said uh, he was sorry and so, so on and so, so forth. Then later, he came up with the one million boys fighting, even kind of like uh, organized boys to beat someone and the police case and all the rest, investigation and all the rest. In our society, we should be able to say enough is enough. So I should be able to say, okay, you cannot be behaving like this. As an artist, you are selling yourself like you are a product. You are not just saying that, okay, you cannot differentiate personal life from what that artist is doing. Like I cannot say, okay, uh, portable now, we shouldn't be looking at his personal life. If he's beating anybody up, we should just be concentrating on his music. No, portable is the music about portable. So portable personal life is important as much as possible music life. So well, according to Eddings, they said, we regret to announce the following numerous indicating statement made by Mr. Habib Okikola, popularly known as portable, and the incite, uh, incessant negative attention that Mr. Okikola has geared from the Nigeria police and the general public in recent time. The organizers of the headings have resolved to disqualify Mr. Akinkola as a nominee at the forthcoming fifth headings award. The decision to disqualify Portable is acquainted by a series of misdemeanors by Mr. Akinkola via his social media platform. On the 24th of May 2022, he threatened to kill, harm, or cause harm to the other nominees in the same category of award he was nominated for. If he does not emerge the winner, he said, according to what Portable wrote that time, he said, These, those are my awards. Anybody else who win, I will ask for them to be killed. I will ask them to kill the person. If the organizer give my award to somebody to someone else, they will die. That's what exactly he said. On the 18th 
of July 2022, Portable published a video on his social media platform where he stated that he is the founder of the notorious court group One Million Boys. The said group gained nonentity from mining and robbing innocent Nigerians over the years. In this word, he said, Have you heard of Aja Boys, One Million Boys? I established them. <laughs> Further, furthermore, on the 17th of June, Mr. Abib, uh, aka Portable, made a recording of himself where he ordered his group of friends to assault an influent body harm on his accused friend, DJ Chicken. In this word, he said, beat him mercilessly. Smooth Production Limited, the organizer of the headings, is a law-abiding and responsible organization that adhors any form of violence, unlawful gathering or activity ravaging our society. We shall not condone reckless and uncaught statement from artists and hereby disassociate ourselves from any individual linked to such assembly or activities, including portable prospect, as long as these acts are sufficiently linked to him, as described. The music, the music industry demands all-round excellent in it. It is extremely important for young artists being potential role models to exceed professionally responsibility, proper decorum, and have respect for others. So are you going to blame Eddings for disqualifying a portable? No, we shouldn't blame Eddings for disqualifying portable. They did exactly the right thing. Or will any of you say whatever they stated on this paper of portable beating up someone, portable saying is the founder of one million gang, and also portable saying that if they give his award to another person, that person that will send people to kill that person. Are you saying the portable never said that? He said all of that. Well, that is just how it is, guys. Now, if you is he is what you give out, so that's exactly what you will expect back. I'm not gonna blame Eddings for saying they disqualify portable. No, 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 no. They did what they are supposed to do. In fact, I'm happy with the decision. They disqualify portable well. Some of you might not agree with that, but I am so, so happy with that decision. They disqualified him well. This is what they should have done long time ago. That apology he issued was no nonsense apology. He never really meant it. So he should go and sit down. They disqualify him well. I'm happy about that. I'm not going to like fake it. I'm really, really happy about that. And if anybody should come to say, oh, he doesn't deserve it, then you really need to sit down to have a rethink. Have a serious rethink. He deserves to be disqualified. Don't you see the blessings? How can you, God has given you so much and you are using your own hands to spoil it. So will somebody say, oh, now God, well, let's talk about P Square Okoye. Sorry, I said P Square Okoye. P Square Brothers. Well, someone made a video of their family home, their mom grave, and also their dad's grave. Their family house not well kept. Check out the video, guys. This money, on my P Square house. Don't me, don't me see P Square house. This one at their mother's grave. This one at their father's grave. This clear house. See their uncle's house. Uh, according to him, he said this Peace Square House. Peace Square House for village. Peace Square and poor. People win, get money. This life no balance. So that is that's their mother's grave and that's their father's grave. P Square brothers are three: Jude Okoye, Paul Okoye, and Peter Okoye. They are three siblings. 
I think they also have a sister. So what is happening? Of course, I'm not going to lie to you that compound is not well maintained, which uh, let's not be completely honest. It seems as if they have not been to that village for a long time. And someone is not taking care of that compound. Maybe somebody is being paid. Someone is not just taking care of that grave and uh, that compound. Maybe they are passing through some family issues. That's why that place is like that. Let's be completely honest. It's none of that person's business. But Peace Square should do better. They should go back and make sure that place is neat. Come on, man. Go back and make sure that place is neat. Peace Square should be able to do better. Well, like I've said before, it's none of that person's business. Let me read some comments, guys. Uh, coming for, uh, someone said, And so, if it pains him so much, he should build a foundation for them. Then someone said, What he make them come do? A mouth be like, do me, do me. So why can't you mind your business? Help them repair it now, or you just want to chase clowns. What was his aim of wrecking the door? That their house has been left unattended. Yes, it has. And? Someone said, where is your own house? Since you are going after people's house, checking if it's well kept or not. Like I've said before, it's none of that guy's business. But that doesn't mean, you know, we have to look like this now. Hmm? Please go ahead. Go and take care. You, you guys should go and sweep that place now. Take care of your mom and dad's grave. Huh? Do the needful. Do the needful, man. Do the needful. We gotta have some respect for the dead as well. So to end this video, let's talk about the ASO strike. You know, the ASO strike is not going to like six months. This is not the longest strike. I think the longest strike we had was in 2012 during the Golong Jonata uh, regime on uh, uh, ASO. I think they stayed for eight months. And Buhari regime now, the strike is pursuing eight months. And the NLC have uh, told Buhari that, okay, since this ASO strike is still lingering, it seems we're going to have to proceed on a national uh, solidarity strike. So NLC are planning to join ASO as well. And they already started that in some states, in Nigeria, in Lagos as well. So let's see, the next, the maybe tomorrow, next tomorrow, we will see them also joining. Well, the president should quickly do something about it. And I pray they can be able to resolve this whole issue and they sort out themselves. Well, guys, I hope uh, I've been able to, of course, we had a very good discussion today. Thank you guys for watching the boy, Gia Adams Link, and I'll catch you next time. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed.